were posed today in this shoot considering you're in such a small confined space yeah sure absolutely this is uh you know this shoot is really uh serves multiple purposes you know the first the most practical would be just to be a kickstarter promo to uh generate interest in the project but for me it was really a test we've we've had an opportunity to do a previous test but not not in a sound stage. Uh, really the things I'm looking for are the complexities of working with the green screen considering that the camera is largely confined in that small space and when you're in there it's very very claustrophobic. There's a lot of challenges posed with the with where the seats are, you have limitations of where the camera can be. In the context of this particular uh, promo in the sense that we didn't want to really see the lead actor. It limits where you can put lights, you know, so I, I was really trying to just get edge lighting without giving away who that we're working with the model, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in the context of the feature, that won't be as big of a problem because we're, we want to see who the actor is, so I can do a, a heck of a lot more. Yeah. And again, just figuring out what your base exposure is, where you're going to get lights in from, uh, you know, again, we're working on a tight budget, so ideally we'd have a larger soundstage. So there's some complications with just getting this beast in here. Yeah, most um, distance to the actual green screen, you know, in a larger space, we'd be able to get a little bit further and okay. then control the spill. Again, just working, uh, for me, it was just getting a sense of the reflective properties of the, the leather on the inside, the, the way that the, uh, the glassware on the inside is set up, the mirrors that are above the actual limo. It, you know, you learn really quickly that to make 90 minutes interesting in that space, you, we're really going to need a mock-up limo, a secondary breakaway limo where we can take the thing apart and get the camera in places where you might not normally be able to in this practical limo. Other things I learned, you know, we were working with a zoom lens today just to keep things fast. It was lightweight. We knew that we would be doing Steadicam, but the truth is, in the context of a feature, I'd probably be working with much faster lenses. Prime lenses, something that would open at least to a 1.3, that would help me some of the lighting needs because another major thing that I learned today was that this particular limo I mean the, the, the degree of the tint in the windows was easily knocking out maybe three to four stops off of my all of my lights which is is a challenge you know it's a challenge so you, you learn things like about is the is this camera the right camera to be using for this project do we need something that's actually a little bit more sensitive to light do we need um, larger units do we need uh, faster lenses um, and these are all things that I'll be kind of uh, really letting thinking about over the next few weeks um, in the concept but again you know this was fairly simple we weren't really trying to move the camera all that much okay. uh, that once we start getting into diving into the actual storytelling part, when we start breaking down the script down and thinking about where we want the camera to move, it's going to get it's going to get exponentially more complex. Um, some other things that I learned were like you know ideally we would um, put in some practical lighting of our own inside the limo, you know some LED based things where we can control the uh, the ambience a little bit more easily from the inside. Moving forward. moving forward, these are all the things that you learn from a shoot like this. Okay. But yeah, so it's it's. It's, it's, it's a going to be, you would think, right, shooting in a single location, small space, inside a limousine, piece of cake, right? Just jump in there with a camera and you're good to go. But when you start actually trying to execute this and you realize this, the, the limitations of that space and the idea that you have to keep that space interesting for 90 minutes, you start to realize, well, we've got, we've got a lot of homework left to do in order to really be, um, to, to make the images as powerful as we possibly can make them. Okay, and you're yeah. certainly up to the task. Well, that's what I'm. That's what I'm. That's what they pay me the big dollars for, right? Or Excellent. the lack of big dollars for. It, anyway, <laughs> you do your best, you know. And honestly, uh, you, as a, as a photographer, you you are looking for the challenge, right? I mean, that the whole the whole fun of it is the challenge. It's it's, it's just complex problem, and you have to find creative solutions for them. And luckily, we have the beginnings of a good team, and the, that's half the battle, right? Is getting the right the right soldiers on the playing field, and we'll figure it out. You know, we'll figure it out. You know. Good job, and thank you yeah. very much. Yeah. Thank you for everything. Is that it? Am I done? Am I done? I think you're done. All right. Awesome. I think you probably have the longest interview of anyone, and you were the first. Okay, great. Awesome. I'm going to go wrap my camera now.